Mite, Wikipedia article audio. Mites are small arthropods belonging to the class Arachnida and the subclass Acari. The term mite refers to the members of several groups in Acari but it is not a clade, and excludes the ticks, order Ixidida. Mites and ticks are characterized by the body being divided into two regions, the cephalothorax, or prosoma, and an epistosoma. The scientific discipline devoted to the study of ticks and mites is called acarology. Evolution and Taxonomy Taxonomy Fossil Record Phylogeny Anatomy External Internal Reproduction and Life Cycle Ecology Niches Parasitism Dispersal Relationship with humans Medical significance In beekeeping In culture Most mites are tiny, less than 1 mm in length, and have a simple, unsegmented body plan. Their small size makes them easily overlooked, some species live in water, many live in soil as decomposers, others live on plants, sometimes creating galls, while others again are predators or parasites. This last group includes the commercially important veroparasite of honeybees, as well as the scabies mite of humans. Most species are harmless to humans but a few are associated with allergies or may transmit diseases. The mites are not an exact taxon, but the name is used for members of several groups in the subclass Acari. The phylogeny of the Acari has been relatively little studied, but molecular information from ribosomal DNA is being extensively used to understand relationships between groups. The 18-srRNA gene provides information on relationships among phyla and superphyla, while the ITS2 and the 18-s ribosomal RNA and 28-s ribosomal RNA genes provide clues at deeper levels. The third edition of the standard textbook A Manual of Acarology uses a system of six orders, grouped into three superorders. Most fossil acarids are no older than the tertiary. Earlier fossils are too few to enable mite phylogeny to be reconstructed from paleontological evidence, but in 2002 an orobatid mite from the early Ordovician was found in Åland, Sweden. The first find of parasitiformes from the Mesozoic was of an argosid tick larva in Cretaceous amber from New Jersey. Other fossils including the first apilioacariform mite are preserved in Baltic amber of Eocene age. Members of the superorders apilioacariformes and acariforms are mites, as well as some of the parasitiformes. Recent genetic research has caused a change in the naming scheme, however, and recent publications have changed the superorder parasitiformes to an order. Other recent research has suggested that acari is polyphyletic, with ticks and spiders more closely related than ticks and mites. The cladogram is based on Daybert et al. 2010, which used molecular data. It shows the acari forms sister to the salifugae, while the parasitiformes are sister to the pseudoscorpionida. False scorpions Ixidida Parasitic mites, Inc. Vero Trombidiformes Sarcoptiformes Camel spiders Mites are tiny members of the class Arachnida, most are in the size range 0.25 to 0.75 mm but some are larger and some are no bigger than 0.1 mm as adults. The body plan is similar to that of ticks in having two regions, a cephalothorax, or prosoma, 
and an epistosoma or abdomen. Segmentation has almost entirely been lost and the prosoma and epistosoma are fused, only the positioning of the limbs indicating the location of the segments. At the front of the body is the nathosoma or capitulum. This is not a head and does not contain the eyes or the brain, but is a retractable feeding apparatus consisting of the chalicery, the pedipalps, and the oral cavity. It is covered above by an extension of the body carapace and is connected to the body by a flexible section of cuticle. The mouth parts differ between taxa depending on diet, in some species the appendages resemble legs while in others they are modified into chalicery like structures. The oral cavity connects posteriorly to the mouth and pharynx. Most mites have four pairs of legs each with six segments, which may be modified for swimming or other purposes. The dorsal surface of the body is clad in hardened tergites and the ventral surface by hardened sclerites, sometimes these form transverse ridges. The gonopore is located on the ventral surface between the fourth pair of legs. Some species have one to five median or lateral eyes but many species are blind and slit and pit sense organs are common. Both body and limbs bear CD which may be simple, flattened, club-shaped or sensory. Mites are usually some shade of brown, but some species are red, orange, black, or green, or some combination of these colors. Mites have a typical arachnid digestive system, although some species lack an anus, they do not defecate during their short lives. The circulatory system consists of a network of sinuses and lacks a heart, movement of fluid being driven by the contraction of body muscles. Gas exchange is carried out across the body surface, but many species additionally have between one and four pairs of trachea, the spiracles being located in the front half of the body. The excretory system includes a nephridium and one or two pairs of malpighian tubules. The sexes are separate in mites, males have a pair of testes in the mid-region of the body, each connected to the gonopore by a vast deferens, and in some species there is a chitinous penis, females have a single ovary connected to the gonopore by an oviduct, as well as a seminal receptacle for the storage of sperm. In most mites, sperm is transferred to the female indirectly, the male either deposits a spermatophore on a surface from which it is picked up the female, or he uses his chalicery or third pair of legs to insert it into the female's gonopore. In some of the acariforms, insemination is direct using the male's penis. The eggs are laid in the substrate, or wherever the mite happens to live. They take from two to six weeks to hatch, and the first stage larvae have six legs. After three molts, the larvae become nymphs, with eight legs, and after a further three molts, they become adults. Longevity varies between species, but the lifespan of mites is short as compared to many other arachnids. Mites occupy a wide range of ecological niches. For example, Orobatida mites are important decomposers in many habitats. They eat a wide variety of material including living and dead plant and fungal material, lichens, and carrion. Some are predatory, though no Orobatid mites are parasitic. Mites are among the most diverse and successful of all invertebrate groups. They have exploited a wide array of habitats and because of their small size go largely unnoticed. They are found in fresh and salt water, in the soil, in forests, pastures, agricultural crops, ornamental plants, thermal springs and caves. They inhabit organic debris of all kinds and are extremely numerous in leaf litter. They feed on animals, plants, and fungi and some are parasites of plants and animals. 
Some 48,200 species of mites have been described, but there may be a million or more species as yet undescribed. The tropical species Archegozitz longazitosis is one of the strongest animals in the world, relative to its mass, it lifts up to 1,182 times its own weight, over five times more than would be expected of such a minute animal. A mite also holds a speed record, for its length, Paratarsotomus macropalpus is the fastest animal on earth. Many mites are parasitic on plants and animals. One family of mites, pyroglyphidae, or nest mites, live primarily in the nests of birds and animals. These mites are largely parasitic and consume blood, skin, and keratin. Dust mites, which feed mostly on dead skin and hair shed from humans instead of consuming them from the organism directly, evolved from these parasitic ancestors. Parasitic mites sometimes infest insects. Vero destructor attaches to the body of honey bees, and Acarapus woody lives in their tracheae. Hundreds of species are associated with other bees, mostly poorly described. They attach to bees in a variety of ways. For example, Trigona corvina workers have been found with mites attached to the outer face of their hind tibiae. Some are thought to be parasites, while others are beneficial symbionts. Mites also parasitize some ant species, such as Aesid and Burchellii. Plant pests include the so-called spider mites, thread-footed mites, and the gall mites. Among the species that attack animals are members of the sarcoptic mange mites, which burrow under the skin. Demodex mites are parasites that live in or near the hair follicles of mammals, including humans. Being unable to fly, mites need some other means of dispersal. On a small scale, walking is used to access other suitable locations in the immediate vicinity. Some species mount to a high point and adopt a dispersal posture and get carried away by the wind, while others waft a thread of silk aloft to balloon to a new position. Parasitic mites use their hosts to disperse, and spread from host to host by direct contact. Another strategy is pharesi, the mite, often equipped with suitable claspers or suckers, grips onto an insect or other animal, and gets transported to another place. A phoretic mite is just a hitchhiker and does not feed during the time it is carried by its temporary host. These traveling mites are mostly species that reproduce rapidly and are quick to colonize new habitats. Mites are tiny, almost invisible, and apart from those that are of economic concern to humans, little studied. The majority are beneficial, living in the soil or aqueous environments and assisting in the decomposition of decaying organic material, or consuming fungi, plant, or animal matter, as part of the carbon cycle. The majority of mite species are harmless to humans and domestic animals, but a few species can colonize mammals directly, acting as vectors for disease transmission, and causing or contributing to allergenic diseases. Mites which colonize human skin are the cause of several types of itchy skin rashes, such as grain itch, grocer's itch, and scabies. Sarcoptes scabii is a parasitic mite responsible for scabies which is one of the three most common skin disorders in children. Demodex mites, which are common cause of mange in dogs and other domesticated animals, have also been implicated in the human skin disease rosacea, although the mechanism by which Demodex contributes to the disease is unclear. Chiggers are known primarily for their itchy bite but they can also spread disease in some limited circumstances, such as scrub typhus. The house mouse mite is the only known vector of the disease Rickettsia alpox. House dust mites, 
found in warm and humid places such as beds, cause several forms of allergic diseases, including hay fever, asthma, and eczema, and are known to aggravate atopic dermatitis. Among domestic animals, sheep are affected by the mites Oropteus ovus which lives on the skin, causing hypersensitivity and inflammation. The mite varro destructor is a serious pest of honey bees, contributing to colony collapse disorder in commercial hives. The mite is an obligate external parasite, able to reproduce only in bee colonies. It directly weakens its host by sucking up the bee's fat, and can spread RNA viruses including deformed wing virus. Heavy infestation causes the death of a colony generally over the winter. Since 2006, over 10 million beehives have been lost. Mites were first observed under the microscope by the English polymath Robert Hooke. In his 1665 book Micrographia, he stated that far from being spontaneously generated from dirt, they were very prettily shaped insects. The world's first science documentary featured cheese mites, seen under the microscope. The short film was shown in London's Alhambra Music Hall in 1903, causing a boom in the sales of simple microscopes. A few years later, Arthur Conan Doyle wrote a satirical poem, Parable, with the conceit of some cheese mites disputing the origin of the round cheddar cheese in which they all lived. Superorder Apilioacariformes, a small order of large mites that superficially resemble harvestmen, hence their name, Superorder Parasitiformes, ticks in a variety of mites, Holotherida, predatory mites from the southern hemisphere, Ixidida, hard ticks and soft ticks, Mesostigmata, bird mites, Phytocid mites, Trigenaspida, large, diverse order. Monogenaspida, diverse order of parasitic and predatory mites.